Speaking of the big serving, uh, Mark, that we used to see back in the day, that's really what uh, got Sam Querrey through, isn't it, to the, to the fourth round yesterday and that huge upset of the championship so far, knocking out Novak Djokovic. Did you call it or did you think that Novak would still come back in five yesterday morning? Well, I, I, I commentated on it. Does that mean I called it? <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you expect to happen uh, no, yesterday? No, no. I mean, you know, with uh, Djokovic having won four slams in a row, the consistency uh, of his performances in the biggest events over the last three or four years has been unbelievable. And, and the, the problem is he set the bar so high, we've seen him time and time again come through those matches where he's not playing his best. But the first two sets, which were on Friday night, Query was unbelievable. He only lost four points on his serve in the first set, uh, which wow. he won 7-6, 8-6 in the tie break. And then in the second set, when you're expecting his level to drop, and then Djokovic was obviously hoping it never happened. So he was up two sets to love. And then you get the delay. They've got to come back the next day. And you really felt that when, when Query came back on the court on Saturday, yesterday, he had something to lose. His footwork wasn't great. He struggles because he's 6'6". Six, six, six. He's not the, the best mover. But he wasn't getting in the right position. He was still trying to be aggressive with his shots. But he was making more unforced errors. It was windy. Then you had the rain delays. It was a hard match. But... Djokovic still had a chance. He served for the fourth set at 5-4, yeah. played a terrible game. Mm. And, uh, you know, Query was able to maintain the belief and, and finally get across the finishing line. So huge upset, great win for, for Query, uh, for Query and, and a great opportunity for the top half of the draw. Yeah. Certainly seemed like something was up with the world number one yesterday. We'll wait and see what the next few weeks may or may not reveal from uh, Djokovic's camp. Well, everyone jumps to, to number two seed, don't they, when the uh, favourite gets knocked out of the tournament. Andy Murray was, of course, asked after his win yesterday over John Millman in straight sets about his reaction to Novak going out. Very mature reply, Tim. You know... Uh, uh, saying this really won't affect him at all unless he makes it to the final and he's got some incredibly big matches to face uh, before then. This was him earlier this morning practicing out at Orangi. He seems to come to the club every day, obviously, even his days off and, and practice and warm up. What did you used to do here at Wimbledon and also how far did you let yourself look ahead in the draw? Well, certainly um, with regards to Andy, um, he has benefited from playing his matches on centre court, um, having the roof and, and he has not been affected at all by, by the rain. Um, he's bottom half of the draw. Obviously, Djokovic opened as the defending champion on Monday. And he's played Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. He's won quickly. Uh, he's had his day off in between to, to practice. So he's really come through the, uh, um, the first week in perfect fashion. Um, yeah, likewise, uh, you know, I'd be here. And, and as all the players, if you've got a day off, you're going to come and practice and you know, work on any aspects of your game that you feel need uh, a, a little bit of work. But um, he'll be delighted. And, uh, he'll be aware of Kyrgios and, and Lopez on court today to see who yeah. comes through. And, and, you know, either opponent is, is, is not easy. They both, both serve well. Um, I'm sure from Mark's point of view, he'll be hoping that it's Kyrgios. He hasn't really been pressed yet. I mean, he's, he's, yes, every match is tough, but he hasn't really played anyone to give him any kind of problems. I think this is mm. the first match where mm. you've got a couple of guys who, who can kind of give him some trouble. Absolutely. And, and uh, um, you know, you reflect on the French Open when he played uh, two five-set matches in the, in the first two rounds. I really don't think that that was uh, a good um, start to the tournament moving into the second week. By the time he was in the semis and finals, probably a little bit more fatigued. Whereas, as, as you say, he's really come through this first week um, in, in, in excellent form. So uh, he'll be ready and raring to go whoever he plays. If you had to pick, would you choose now at this stage of the tournament a Federer-Murray final? Or would you pick someone else to uh, make their way through? Yeah, I mean, I said, um, I said I felt Murray was going to win the tournament before, um, before the event started. I think that sort of Lendl factor, the way that he's played um, um, uh, in the last couple of weeks. I, I better just say Roger Federer because he's just walked past the, uh, the studio. <laughs> us um, so, yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll go for a Federer-Murray. I'm sure there's a lot of people <laughs> that would, uh, would quite appreciate that, that match yeah, absolutely yeah I'm sure they would indeed it would be a huge hugely popular one on centre court before we let you go Tim you guys are now both very handy golfers I see Tim often on the golf circuit Mark's been telling me he plays off what four or five not even close to golf. Tim not close to this guy <laughs> really this guy's okay. another level <laughs> yes. I'm, uh, I'm at the addiction stage yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, you know once this uh, once this tournament's out of the way then uh, I'll definitely be looking to, to get back out there and if the weather improves um, yeah to because uh, I do I do love the game I love the challenge and and uh, I'm sure we can, uh, or I'm sure I'd like to take a bit of money off Mark at some stage. This has got to be the longest stretch that you don't pick up a golf club for. Two weeks? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I'll be uh, hacking it around. It's got the shakes a little bit. You can yeah, see yeah, the putting needs a bit of work. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I did hear that you've got the uh, the shakes on, on the part of the Is yips? that right? The no, yips? no, no. I mean, vicious rumours. I don't no, know. No. I heard. I no, heard. I did. Uh, I missed one from four feet. 
for the first time in a couple of years. So uh, oh, <laughs> just, right. trash talking. You'll probably be heading up for the Open in June as well. I, I will expect. be. Yeah, I'm going to be there with HSBC. So uh, looking forward to that.